I love Lucas Aid. Um, Dr. Impossible. Oh, it's nice to see you, Dr. Impossible of Counterpart 1984. It's nice to see you again. Yes, you remember. Thank you. Master of Criterion, lover of Potter. Dennis, of course. Guys. Yes, of course. Dennis Potter. You know, I was just re watching The Singing Detective and I was just revisiting the, um, the Melvin Bragg final interview. Um, uh, which is, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I know, I'm sure you've seen the Melvin Bragg interview with Dennis Potter. I'm, I'm sure you have. I, and I have the, um, I have the, I have a VHS tape recording of it. And I also have the, uh, the text of it as well. The final interview said the last interview, the funny of the Faber and Faber publication. I have that. So, um, um, I love this. That was the first time I think I I'd really experienced the language of Dennis Potter as spoken by Dennis Potter in that final interview. Um, and I, I was so struck, for example, um, I mean, I was, I was, I would have been a young teenager when I first saw that, I suppose, but I was struck, for example, this is Dennis Potter's final interview with Melvin Bragg. I think you, you can watch it on YouTube. Maybe I'm perhaps I'm not sure, but, um, it's so lovely. Um, and, um, uh, he, there's a, and he's talking about a seeing the, blo it, that was the, the title of it. It's called seeing the blossom. And, um, uh, you know, the, he was talking the, the penness of the pen and the nowness of the now he was emphasizing the fact that he was at the moment he was dying from, uh, from, uh, inoperable cancer. And that he only had, uh, his doctors, he, he had very, very limited time to live. Uh, and so he was w w working so frenziedly on this final work that ended up being called Lazarus. And so, uh, but uh, he was trying to write uh, as much as he could uh, before and try to make, <laughs> finish the work before he, he would pass on. And he spoke in that interview, for instance, about, um, right, um, the old hymnals, right? And he, uh, uh, Forest of Dean and, uh, uh, will there be any stars? And he's in, he, at the, at the interview, he says he, he loves how it's emphasized and it's repeated. Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown? He says, he makes a point of noting how lovely he thought that phrase, any stars was repeated. Will there be any stars, any stars in my crown? Um, when the evening sun was it when the evening sun goes down will i wake with a blessed in the mansion of rest will there be any stars in my crown so um and that becomes very significant as those who know dennis potter and others uh might attest to but anyway i'm totally going off topic here i apologize but I'm, i guess i'm not because dr impossible counterpunch 1984 mentioned dennis potter so thank you so much my dear friend thank you <laughs> 